Hey there everyone, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and I've got another Kickstarter preview for you today. This one is my show, May Show, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but it's a cool theme, uh, it's based on historical events, and uh, basically you control for one or two players, Vikings who have fallen into kind of like a cairn or a burial chamber, and uh, now you need to tunnel your way out or starve to death while potentially going mad. Fun, right? But this one is a very, very quick playing card game in the vein of things like Unbroken and Friday. I'm going to run you through a full solo playthrough. And if you want to hear my impressions of the game, you can wait until the end of the video or use the timestamps to jump right to it. And a quick reminder that we never take any compensation or payment for our coverage, including Kickstarters. We just want to help you make an informed decision. So setup for the game is super simple. You've got a big deck of cards. You shuffle that up. You start your health all the way on the right on the fourth spot and your food on the one space. And a note that everything here is a prototype. I've already talked to the designer and he said they're probably going to change the tokens so they're kind of more visible on the board. Maybe have individual health tokens so it's kind of easier to see them counting down. Uh, but speaking of tokens, we've also got these tunneling tokens. I'm choosing to play on hard mode. And not only that, but you can choose to put in one or more of these little three sets of cards, little expansion cards. Uh, one of them will be positive and two will be negative. And each of these also has a unique way to set up the game and change setup a little bit. In this case, I'm playing with a three card Hope and Hopeless set. And the setup for that, because Hope is a very powerful card, is to have one additional tunnel. So five would normally be hard mode. I'm playing with six, so it's uh, very hard. <laughs> and we're going to see uh, if I can survive. And I'll just jump right into the playthrough because things are super simple and I'll explain the basics of play. At the start of the game and at the end of each turn, you're going to draw up to a hand of five. I'll be displaying that at the top here. And each of the cards you'll see has either a blue or a red rune on it. And this is mainly important for one big reason, which is after you redraw cards at the end of each turn, draw back up to five, if every card in your hand has the same rune, either red or blue, you go mad, discard your entire hand, lose one health, lose one max health, and uh, shuffle the discard pile back into the deck. So not too fun, although I will mention, as you'll see with the strategy, that you have to go mad sometimes. We all have to go a little mad, right? Uh, to actually have a chance to escape from the two. But the core mechanic of the game, and man, it couldn't be simpler, is you're going to pick one card to play and one card to discard. And for whichever card you play, you're going to resolve the effect on the top with this little uh, card with a green arrow. And whichever card you discard, you'll resolve the effect on the bottom. You'll see I'm uh, kind of in a lucky place here. I have no cards with negative bottom effects at the moment. So that means I'll get two cards out of my hand each round. Again, one played, one discarded, and then I'll redraw, I'll check for madness, see if all the runes are the same color, and I'll do it all over again. Now there's a bunch of different icons for different effects, but most of them will uh, increase or decrease your health. You can't go above four, and once you go mad, you can't go above three and then two each time you go mad. And if you go below one, then you die. <laughs> Whereas food can go to zero if you eat all your food and can go up to four. Uh, it doesn't do anything inherently of itself, but uh, you can use this one card in the game, there's several copies of it though, to uh, discard as much food as you want to gain that much health. Basically, you're uh, feasting and trying to stay alive. But the most important cards in the game, bar none, are these ones. They come in both red and blue varieties, which are tunneling cards. And if you can get a set of four of those in a row, you're going to kind of keep your played cards in a row or in piles in front of you. If you can get four of them in a row, that's how you take away one or two tunnel tokens uh, because you're actually digging your way out of the tomb. And how do I decide if it's one or two? If all four cards are the same color. So like I have two red runes here. If I got both of those played and also played uh, two more reds, I would get rid of two tunnel tokens. If there's at least one mixed in, so if it was like three reds and one blue, for example, I would only get rid of one. But the very important thing to remember here is these have to be in a row. You have to make a concerted effort to dig your way out or the rocks will just fall back into place. So like if I play these two reds, but then, oh my gosh, my life is too low or something else is going on and I play uh, some other card like this, those two reds are basically wasted. My tunneling has been for no purpose. And what's really important is any cards you discard, remember you play one and discard one each round, they can come back when you go mad. Like I said, you have to go mad sometimes. But cards that have been played will never come back. 
So you can sometimes play more punishing cards on purpose to suffer their negative effects so you never have to see them again. But you want to be really careful with positive cards you play because you might leave yourself with no options when you go mad and shuffle the discard pile back into the deck. So with those basics explained, let's jump in. I've got a sleeping card that could heal me one, but I'm at full health. I could eat my one food or gain some more food with that goose flying down. I'm a little hesitant to play my tunnels now, because first of all, there are more blue tunnels than red tunnels. So uh, if I start digging with red, I'm kind of uh, taking my chances. But also I want to make sure I have like at least three of them in my hand to really protect my odds. So I think I'll uh, build up for the future. I'll play a goose and... Uh, let's see. I'm safe to discard anything because I won't have all red or all blue be putting myself in a potential mana situation. I think I'll discard the sleeping to come up later. When I go mad, it can heal me back up. All right, and I refill. Uh, there's another digging, but a blue one this time, and another goose. Interesting. So like I said, blue are more common than red for the digging action, so I sometimes like to discard the reds and save them for later. So let's uh, do that this time. Let's uh, get another piece of food. I'll definitely be able to heal up quickly once I get hurt. And I'll discard one of my reds to come back once I go crazy. Okay, now I've got a food shortage card. If I play this, I lose all my food. If I discard it, I just lose one health. And here's one of the worst cards in the game, but sometimes a good one to play early. If I play it, I lose two health, and I have to put back one or two tunnel tokens. Basically, the tunnel's collapsed. If I discard it, I lose one health. But if I play it when I haven't tunneled at all, I just lose the two health. So again, you can kind of uh, ditch it early. And in this case, I have so much food deed, I am going to do this. I'm going to play that to lose two health. And I'll discard this to lose another one, because I can eat my three geese in a second to fully heal all of that damage. And oh, here's a raven, the uh, harbinger or servant or whatever you want to say of Odin. So uh, that's a positive card to draw. And then uh, this is treasure. I go a little crazy trying to grab gold, which is, of course, useless in my situation. Uh, so that would be taking one or two damage. But yeah, first things first, I think I have to eat. I can choose to eat as much as I want. I'm going to eat everything to go up to full health again. And uh, let's discard the treasure and take one damage for now. And by the way, I can resolve the discard and play in either order if it makes a difference. Okay, oh, there's another red. Man, I'm getting a ton of reds and no blues. Maybe this was a bad strategy. Um, let's see. For this, I'm going to get a food back. I'm just kind of biding my time here. Discard another red. I'm just hoping blues come out. Okay, there's another blue tunnel. Oh, and another Odin. Gosh, I'm not even that hurt. Huh. Okay, this is a somewhat awkward situation to be in. Hmm. Okay, it's kind of wasteful, but I am going to play the blue Odin Raven to go up one. Discard the red one more time. Let's see if I can get this one more blue. Okay, there we go. Now we got three blue digs. A negative blue card, but that's okay. Let's start digging our first time. So, there's my first blue. I'll uh, discard that to take one damage. Often you'll be digging until you're almost... Yes, yes, okay, so I've got four if I can just get them into play. And this is one of the three special cards from the set I chose to include. Again, you got these little expansion sets you can put in there. First of all, it has no color, which means while I have it in my hand, I cannot go mad. Hope sustains me. But if I play it, it counts as a dig card of either color, so it can really help me get those uh, four of a kinds more easily. If I discard it, I get to look at the top two cards of the deck, and I can uh, discard or put back into place either of them or both of them if I want. All right, so well, we're going to keep digging, obviously, so that's my second one. And Hope keeps me safe, so I can discard this Raven. It's a great card, but it'll come up next time, uh, so I can uh, heal later. Okay, and there's a blue sleep. So I would have all blue. I would be going mad right now, but that hope card totally saving me. Let's get our third dig. And yeah, we'll get another healing there. Keep our dig cards. Oh, and another tunnel cave in and a red dig. So we're going to uh, go ahead and get our fourth dig. We immediately remove two tokens because those were all the same color. Beautiful. And I want to get hurt. I want to discard hope, maybe, and save it for later, because clearly I don't need it for the uh, dig thing right now. I want to discard the red dig again. Yeah, let's discard the red dig uh, for now. We know we already have a bunch of them. We're basically seeding the discard pile with them. Okay, and by the way, I can kind of like combine these all into a big played pile. There are some of the little expansions that interact more with the played cards, but the ones I'm using don't. So honestly, I can just put these to the side now that I've done a full set of four. Don't really have to worry about them. All right, so I'm a little bit hurt. Oh man, I got horror. This is the uh, opposite card. There's two of these and one hope. 
Uh, if I play this, I go mad immediately, even if I have hope in my hand. If I discard it, I lose one food and one health. Huh. I guess I could go mad now, but again, you lose one health immediately. You lose one max health, so I could only go up to three max. And I would discard my entire hand, which does have some digs, but is it enough digs for me to want to do it? Um, hmm. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to make myself go mad. So first, let's uh, discard hope. Remember, you can discard and then play, or play and then discard, to look at the next two... Oh, wait, no, it doesn't matter if I look at the next two cards, does it? Because I'm just going to shuffle the whole deck anyway. So you know what? <laughs> Who cares? Let's just go mad right now. So I'm going to take all my previous discards, including all those reds I seeded. I'm going to take the entire deck that was left and my entire hand, and I'm going to shuffle these all together, draw a new hand of five, and... Unlike at the beginning of the game, if you draw a new hand of five here and they're all blue or all red, you can have a cascading madness and go mad again. Um, so I lose one health. They don't have tokens yet to mark lost max health, so I'm just using extra uh, tunnel tokens, but they should have them. And let's see what I end up with. Okay, good. I got my hope, so I won't go mad. I got a ton of healing effects and a collapse, which uh, now at this point, if I played that, I would get back my two tunnel tokens. That's not happening. Let's see. I think I'll discard the Collapse to lose one health. Remember, I can do this in whatever order I want. And then I can play the Raven to go back to full. Feeling good about that. Can I have an Eat My Food or Lose All My Food card? Huh. Okay. Well, I'd rather use my one food than the automatically healing one. So let me discard this first to lose one health. And then I'll eat my one food to gain it right back. And, you know, I really got to thank these birds that are just flying into my uh, tomb here. Okay, so I got my first dig, and it is a red one. And I know there are a lot of those in the deck. But I don't think I want to start digging when I only have one drawn. So let's uh, let's just kind of bide our time a bit. I'll discard that to take one damage. The uh, tunnel collapse. And I'll play uh, rest a little bit before I dig again to heal right back. Oh, now I've got a blue tunnel. Really muddying up which thing I want to do. Okay, let's uh, kind of repeat what I did last turn. Discard the treasure for one damage. Play the sleep for one healing. Stay at full. Oh, now I got three blue. Okay, so I'm going to start tunneling blue. Oh, crud. I guess I'll discard reds again. <laughs> I'd like to have some other things. I could discard the hope. Uh, but a hope is a wild for any color. But you know what? I'll probably go mad one more time in this game. So let me discard the hope. So I have to look at the top two cards, and I can discard them or put them back. And when I discard them, they have no effects. So heck yes, I'll discard both of these. That would hurt me. Get out of here. Instead, I draw... Oh, gosh. Okay. Well. Well, well, well. This is uh, a little concerning. Okay, I'll play a blue. Discard a red. Uh, yeah, so another madness seems likely. Okay, I draw a treasure. I'd love to get another blue dig, but it's seeming pretty unlikely. I guess I should have gone for that red dig. That's my third one. If I can get... Come on, one more blue. No, I don't think I'm going to get that double dig. Oh, no, I did not. So I still have to play a dig, or I would just uh, lose all my progress. So I'll play a red dig. It's not for the same color. I just get rid of one tunnel. And, you know, like before, I'll just kind of get rid of all these. Oh, that was a bummer. What will I discard? I guess I can uh, discard this to take one damage. And All right, I'm getting a mix of colors again. So this one would make me get rid of all my food, which actually wouldn't hurt me right now. So let's play that just to get it out of the deck. And then I guess I'll discard the eating card for later. Oh, now all my blue tunnels come out. <laughs> all right, we're going to start tunneling again, I think. Should I heal first? Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and heal one and discard another red, because I'm going to make another red push later on. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, crud, oh, crud, oh, crud. I just realized I only have two cards left in my deck, which means I need to try to go mad soon. Although, wait, I still have the second horror card. I haven't drawn that. So you know what? I know I can go mad, so I should be kind of safe uh, slow playing it here, I think. So I'll do that and that. Actually, I only had one card left, and it was horror. So I, shoot, I don't have enough to dig, do I? I just wasted that dig. All right, so it's going to go crazy. Um, there we go. We're down to two max life. Oh, man, this is not looking good, and I just uh, basically threw away those uh, that blue dig, because I can't get back to it. Oh, man, things are looking pretty desperate. This is why you don't play uh, playthroughs on hard mode, everybody. Okay. Huh. All right. Um, I gotta be careful about going mad. 
I really gotta get, like, four reds in a row and then try to cobble together enough uh, tunnels to win. I don't even know if there are enough left. So for now, let's uh, discard that to take a damage and rest to get a damage back. It is rough only having two life. Okay, there's two red digs. And you know what? We're going to say that's enough because i got to get something going. So we're going to dig red and uh, we'll discard one of these. Kill an animal for no effect. Come on, give me some red digging. That's a blue dig. Okay, uh, there's another red dig. And this time I'll discard that, because that's my only red. I don't want to go mad now. Uh, so that'll be one damage. I'm down to one life. Yikes. There's a blue. Come on, give me a red. No! Okay. Okay. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is, uh, this is not good. Oh, and if I play any of those, I'll die? Okay, so I'll play a blue dig. And... Hope I don't go mad. If I get all blues, I will. I'm going to discard my eating because I can't afford to take the damage. Okay, there's a red, so I'm not going to go mad. Oh, man. All right. Well, as you can probably see, this is the end of the line. If I dig to get rid of one tunnel, I will die from discarding any of those. So I'm going to keep the playthrough going and see how far I get, but I have to play this uh, for no effect because I can't lose any food. Invalidating all that tunneling Oh, man, I have to just throw away this tunnel or die. Wow. Hard is hard. <laughs> okay. Um, jeez. Okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna... Ha, uh, man, man, man. I barely have any cards left in the deck, even. This is no good. You know, they really make, like, hard mode on a razor's edge to win it in this. Okay. I guess I'll eat nothing. No. I'm just going to start digging. <laughs> it's almost impossible. Okay, there's nothing I can discard. Okay, and then the second dig, and I will succumb. Oh, man. Too many digging cards wasted. Too many uh, not in the right color. I end only halfway to my goal. Ouch. That was rough. So that was May Show coming to Kickstarter soon. And if you'd like to hear my impressions, just hang on. So the first positive thing I'll say about the game is I like the simplicity of these core choices. Again, it reminds me a lot of Friday and Unbroken great solo games where uh, the basic mechanic is incredibly simple, but the choices have ramifications. Here, the big one is uh, the idea that anything you play to the play area is gone forever. So in some games, not the one you just saw that didn't go so well, I've uh, tried to not tunnel at all, just discarded every tunnel, and just tried to like really churn through the negative cards and the healing cards so that like all that was left when I uh, went through after going mad a few times was tunneling, pretty much. So like I said, I like the simplicity of that choice, but with some depth there as well. I also like how quick the game is, how little space it takes up. Like, they do say in the rules to do a full row of cards, but as you saw, it's usually not necessary. And uh, the entire game takes me, I don't know, 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes, depending on how uh, tough it's going for me. Also, even though the theme is dark, it's a pretty unique one, like the idea of trying to dig your way out. And I think, uh, besides, <laughs> the only kind of weird thematic thing is just the plethora of bird life just diving into this tube. It's like, hey, here's a swan. Hey, here's a raven. I don't know. That's a little goofy. But besides that, I think everything works really well, like the temptation of treasure and like the having to tunnel a bunch of times to actually make progress and then kind of heal yourself up and rest. I think uh, the thematic integration here is really cool. And it's also nice that the game has two-player co-op, because uh, the ones I compared it to, Friday and Unbroken, do not. And it's really simple. You each have your own hand of cards, but basically you have the chance to sometimes skip your turn. Like, if you don't have any digging cards, and they do. So you have some nice kind of co-op there in how you kind of plan out your turns. But to balance that, you have to dig out one more tunnel token, so it doesn't just make the game straight up easier. And I also like the option of these little three-card inclusion things, because just three cards actually change the game quite a bit. Like, you saw the Hope and Hopeless cards, they had pretty major impact on the play. And uh, each of these sets has the same kind of thing. And the fact that they have, like, kind of a different slight setup variant for each of them is cool, too. I hope they have more of them. I only had three in the prototype, but uh, the designer said they think they'll have more. So uh, I'm pretty excited for that, because I think it does give the game nice variety and more replay. 
play. And I guess that's a nice spot to transition into potential concerns for the game. Uh, the first one is like the board and the tokens. You can see it's like really hard to see where things are. The health is hard to keep track of. There's no like zero space. But uh, the designers said they're working on all of that. So I don't think any of that will be a problem in the final game. Although, you know, keep an eye on the Kickstarter and see what they do with it. My only other real concern for the game, and this is to be expected with this kind of quick, light card game, but it can be really swingy with the results. I played on hard mode sometimes where the cards just came out in such a way that I was able to dig to safety with no problem, and I played on easy mode where the cards came out in like the worst possible configuration and victory seemed almost impossible. And that's no different from any of the card games I've compared this game to. It's kind of par for the course with this type of game, because, uh, you know, the variety in how the cards come out is where a lot of the fun is. But just be aware of that. Like, I don't think of this as a high strategy game. There is some depth there, like I said, in the choices. But a lot of this is just kind of enjoying the ride, playing through the game, having that solitaire or two-player card experience, and seeing if you can make it this time. So if you're in for that, in for what I expect to be a low price point, I think this game might be for you. But if you want something meatier, something more strategic, something less random, something that takes more than 20 minutes, uh, this game might be a pass for you. All right, thanks for watching. Check out the Kickstarter preview link, the Kickstarter once it's live. Hope you enjoyed this. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.